and rookies it's scott from the rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast and i want to wish everybody a happy saint patrick's day today we are reviewing teeling small batch unfinished whiskey stay tuned All right, uh, rookies, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I know I had a lot of you guys wanting to know why I haven't put this video out yet. Uh, I'm waiting to, I was waiting to do it for St. Patrick's Day. Now, in my previous video, I reviewed the Red Breast 12 Year Cash Strength, which is one of my top three favorite whiskeys of all time, bar none. It's great for blending, it's great for drinking neat, it's great on the rocks. The only thing I haven't tried with it yet is putting in a cocktail. So, to be honest with you, I'm not kind of a cocktail guy. There are a few cocktails I like, but Irish whiskeys overall really don't make good cocktails. Personally, I don't think so. Anyways, today we are reviewing Teeling. Now, I've had Teeling before. I haven't reviewed the regular. And what I like about Teeling is they're a relatively new uh, distiller. I believe they were, they were founded in 2015. And remember what I told you last week for uh, a... Whis Irish whiskey to be labeled a true Irish whiskey, it has to be aged a minimum of three years. This is a true Irish whiskey. So it is 2019 on the bottle here. And what I like about Teeling is they are doing things properly. Uh, this one here, the small batch, it says it's non chill filtered. It says it's natural character. Now, natural character, I'm hoping in Irish, means natural coloring. And if you take a look at it, you know, it has kind of a light golden, uh, deep yellow type of color to it. I don't know if they've added coloring to it. I hope not. But remember, if they do add coloring to it, it's not affecting the flavor. It's just affecting the way it presents. Now, what's the difference between regular teeling and teeling small batch? Well, the teeling small batch is finished in rum casks. And I believe it's finished for three months in rum casks. Now... I do believe that, you know, let's go ahead and uh, read here, that they do blend, oh, I'm sorry, it's finished for six months in X rum barrels. Um, doesn't say if it's done in sherry or bourbon. I suspect, and we'll go with this when we get into the tasting of it, okay, um, that uh, I suspect some of it's bourbon barrels because I tend to get a, a slight vanilla flavor to it. Anyways, it is bottled at 46%, which is really the lowest you can go without it and with being non-chill filtered. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take a nose on it. The nose on this, a little bit of citrus. I get um, a hint of acetone. Uh, on the on the uh, on the nose, so uh, acetone for you does think of nail polish remover. It's not unpleasant. It's just there. It's it's actually fairly common with quite a bit of uh, Scotch and Irish whiskeys. Now I do get some fruit, which makes me think that if they're blending part of the uh, part bourbon and part sherry, some of it might be in sherry casks. <laughs> But what's really noticeable is for those that have tasted uh, non-sweetened rums, there is definitely the rum cask influence on this. Um, almost like a mineral slash metallic type of uh, nose to it. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a sip. Oh, just got a big whiff of fruit on that one. Sort of like kiwi. Yeah, that's... Okay. I do get some of that kiwi, some of that fruit. Um, the rum influence. I can really, really taste the rum influence on this. And if you guys are interested in 
a rum to try that's uh, non-sugar added. Try Dooley's if you can find it. It's made by Foursquare Barbados. And that'll give you kind of an example of what I'm talking about with the rum flavor. But I'm getting that citrus note that's coming through. I do get some uh, uh, fruit notes, sort of like uh, along the lines of a, a light cherry note, uh, some dried fruit, uh, a little bit of fig. But there's that definite on the finish, I'm getting a definite vanilla finish on it. So, like I said, I don't know what they're using. I suspect it's a mix of bourbon and sherry. Um, and then, of course, going into the rum casks. Boy, you know, Teeling has been a surprise for me. Um, it's, it's a relatively budget Irish whiskey, I would say. This particular bottle uh, in the state of Washington runs about $40. Um, I know you can get the regular Teeling for about $30 or $35. And then, of course, if you're in Washington State, you have the 20.2 or 20.5% liquor tax on top of that but teeling is a good option if you want to go up outside of the regular jameson or bush mills and you want to try something that's unique this is definitely in the unique now one thing i did find when i opened this bottle and i'm not real happy about it and teeling i hope if somebody at teeling hears this please please take note when i open this up when I first opened it up it is a natural cork okay one thing that I absolutely hate are floaties now what's a floaty it's stuff in my drink and what I found was as I was finding pieces of cork in my whiskey and I looked down here and I've already cleaned it out but with the natural cork and, and I understand the use of natural cork there's tradition behind a lot of it it is still a good seal but I was getting pieces of cork and they were sticking to the glass just on the inside here. And it took me a little bit to clean it out. You know, uh, basically what I did was is I took some of it poured out, took a Q-tip, dipped it in a little bit of whiskey so that it wouldn't uh, contaminate it. And I cleaned the inside of this out. Got as much of the cork out as I can. And it looks like I've got most of it out. But it was sticking to the glass. And that, I'll be honest with you, is not a good sign. What I'm worried about is that if this cork is already degrading, and, and it shouldn't, then that's the thing. This was bottled right here. It was bottled in February of 2018, so it's only been bottled a year. And I'm hoping that the loose, as the cork, I hopefully the cork has stopped uh, disintegrating. Because one thing I absolutely hate is a corked whiskey, uh, cork taint. Uh, it happens in wine quite often, well not often, but often enough to where it will ruin the entire bottle. And I know it will do that with whiskey as well. So uh, having to take that into consideration, I'm going to give this actually two scores. Um, one concerning the, with the cork problem, the other as it sits by itself. And by itself, as a relatively entry level, budget, you know, uh, Whiskey with a little bit of rum cask flavoring. You know, this is a solid, I would say this is a solid 87 out of 100. Um, now I'm going to revisit it and hopefully nothing changes. But with the cork, and I have to, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a score with the cork problem because to me that really is a problem. That's a quality control problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably rate it as an 84 and if I go ahead and buy another bottle and I have the same problem and it doesn't matter if it's small batch or if it's regular there's a good chance I probably won't buy the teeling again not because I don't like it but because I don't want to risk the money to having a bad bottle develop so that being said if you like this comment if you like this content please go ahead and hit the like button so that more other, so other people can see the video uh, if you go ahead and have a question, if you have the teeling, please go ahead and comment down below. That way I will try to respond as best I can. The other thing is, is if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, a little bell button is going to come up. So if you like this content, subscribe. That way you're going to see more of this type of content. If you hit the little bell button, that means you're not going to get notified when I do upload new content, which is great. I'd love to see it. I, I'm over 60 subscribers now. I know for 
some for some people that's well, well gee is 60 you know i've got over 10,000 or whatever you know for me it's great i don't expect this channel to grow really fast but i do expect it to grow and as i get do more of these i'm going to get better i'm going to try to provide better content and i want to make sure that you guys are engaged with this as well as i am so today happy st patrick's day uh one more thing i'm going to toast to my son who would be 26 today patrick you're missed. Thank you very much. And remember, as always, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Whiskey helps. By the way, thanks to Grunt Style for the t-shirt today. Um, cheers. Salon. Thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Please be responsible. Yeah, that's good stuff.